And right now, I have uh, 28 people in the stream. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Living life, spinning like a merry-go-round. Traveling all around the world, you know we get surround. Good vibes only. Good vibes. You know it's the one and only uh -huh. Justin Bravo. Come on. Yeah, that's my number one my homie. Number Subscribe. One homie. Come on. Okay, so I'm really getting into this live stream. If you haven't noticed, always have the live stream alert going on. I've been 24 seven here for a little bit and I'm really enjoying it. But I upgraded my mic, but I need to upgrade my webcam because the camera that's on the iMac uh, doesn't quite do it. So we're gonna do that right now. Man, I had this really big deal that like, whenever I do something, I try to do it at the best quality that I can do it at. Webcams are just like other cameras. There's all kinds of different options and stuff like that. And I went with uh, Logitech's um, 4K Pro webcam because mainly I don't need the 4K, but I do want that 1080p at 60 frames per second because I game at 60 frames per second. I'm thinking that it would be more cohesive to have both running at 60 frames per second. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, and I think this is a little bit better low light and I hope it just performs well. I got a really nice mic now and this camera. So between the two, the live stream should be taken up a notch. I think live stream is where it's at. I've thoroughly enjoyed having my live stream go for as many days in a row as I have. And it's pretty neat. I don't know if you've had a chance to jump on the live stream, but a lot of times I just have a background and music going. It's just promoting the giveaway. But very often I get on there and talk and chat. And I've also been doing a lot of gaming on there. So I do a lot of the Nintendo Switch. I will stream Nintendo Switch the whole time. I'll play Mario Kart, NBA Playground, um, ARMS, all these different games I got and uh, get on there and play. And it's been really interesting because I wasn't sure who would all join in on the stream or he would come in and leave. But man, I'll tell you, there's people who hang out there all day. Like, you know, we've got 15 or 20 regulars. And it's like, every time I log on to the stream, there's like 20 people just sitting there just chatting. It's become this really cool chat room. And what I love about it, it really feels like it's helped build my community and not just my subscriber count, but my community. Because unlike my videos in which I'm editing, color grading and, and, and making everything the way I want it to be, the stream is definitely a, a little bit more raw and you know, I'm gaming, I'm chatting, I'm talking it up, and I'm really interacting with my um, audience. And then when I put up a vlog, they're more chatty in the comment section and it just creates more engagement. And it creates this more sense of community and that I'm invested in them and they're invested in me. And I think live streams is where it's at. I'm gonna head home now, set up the webcam and uh, take the stream up to another level. Got home with the camera, ready to hook it up, and we're gonna see what difference it is over the built-in iMac one. I'll tell you that I wanna start doing more live stuff. I'm gonna start doing it more on YouTube, more on Facebook, everywhere, because it really seems to be where things are going. And not just from a interactive standpoint, but from a algorithm standpoint. What I mean by that, Facebook and YouTube prioritize videos that either are live streams or came from a live stream because they think it's relevant. They think it's news and they're pushing it in their algorithm. And so they come up higher when you're searching. They show up more on Facebook naturally in the timeline because I'll post a video and if it's not live, get, you know, some views go live and all of a sudden it's 20 times the numbers. And same thing on YouTube. I'm easily ranking for stuff in the live stream because it's a live stream that if I tried to do the same thing by just posting a video, I would be buried a thousand people deep and nobody would ever see that video. So I'm trying to figure out ways that I can incorporate that into my strategy, my marketing strategy to get my content viewed. Because even if you do really good stuff, if no one's looking at it, 
you know, it's not gonna ever grow. And that's the ultimate goal here, obviously, to grow the community, grow your channel. I want this to be a, a big thing, and I want every one of my friends and other YouTube creators to have a bigger community. And to do that, gotta crack the code on live. You've gotta do it more. And uh, I'm gonna see what I can do to be the catalyst. Okay, got the webcam and everything else is set up already to go. So I just really got to get it, it going. Um, I had scored this uh, blue pro mic, Yeti mic the other day. That's improved the sound quality so much because I was using the internal mic and I was trying to use, you know, my editing headphone mics, which, you know, it was okay. But then every time I like was moving around and scratching on my shirt, it just sounded like crap. So stop doing that. The Yeti mics made a huge difference. I know that this is gonna help. I did read some tutorials on how to stream from the DSLR or the point and shoot, and it is possible. So the quality would be fantastic, but um, I've also read that it can come at the cost of the camera because they're not really made to have their sensor open, you know, that much just constant feeding for webcam. So got a dedicated webcam. Really excited about that because I really want it to be the best experience it can be. Now, as far as live streaming is concerned, so I'm giving away a Nintendo Switch because I became a Nintendo ambassador. And um, if you go on YouTube and you search for Nintendo Switch giveaways, that's a pretty hard thing to rank for because a lot of people are giving away Nintendo Switches because it's, it's a popular item. Um, but I rank number one or number two, depending on, you know, the time of day, but I ranked very high. And a reason that is, and I ranked high like the second I uploaded, is because I'm doing it from a live stream and it says Nintendo giveaway in the title and description and the tags. And right off the bat, a live stream with all the right descriptions ranked well. And I've noticed this on a few things that I've uploaded live stream. As long as I got the information right and it was a live event it would rank really well really easy so this is why in yesterday's video i talked about ranking um videos that are trending try to do it through a live stream that might work for you but honestly if you've got something coming up and you really want to um make an impression help build your community i think the live stream is the way to go and right now I have uh, 28 people in the stream, and I haven't been on since late last night, and I have 28 people in the chat room currently, which is not odd. It usually has that many people in there all the time, and um, I think that's pretty cool because it shows there's a sense of community kind of building there. It just makes me want to get on there and talk more, makes me want to get on there and game more, and anything I can to interact. Um, I had people last night suggest that I do a Q&A, and, &A, and uh, I think I might be doing that on the live stream. So. I'm not sure where it's all going to manifest into, but I do know that live stream is going to be a very big, important part of what I do on my channel going forward. When this vlog's over, head over to the live stream. Let's hang out for a bit. Check it out and see what do you think about it and see how it may work for you. I've had a few other friends that are YouTube creators who've also started up live streams and they do a little bit of gaming. They've been doing the things I've been doing and they've had a lot of luck with it too. They've gained subscribers, they've interacted with them more on the stream, and they say they overall feel a better connection going on through the live stream. So it's super exciting and um, I highly, highly recommend it. And the beautiful thing about live streams and the one thing coming from a vlogger who edits five hours a day at least is there's no editing. It's just you push a record button and go and you're saying hello to the world and that's really amazing. Now, I still love the vlog. I still love editing. I still love the artistic part of that. And I love being able to put my thoughts down and really take my time with it. Um, but with a live stream, it's amazing. The engagement is there and it feels a lot more intimate. And um, I'm really super stoked to keep pushing the live and really for that to be a big part of my YouTube channel. So please check it out and uh, I hope to see your live streams very soon. Seriously, you're missing out on some great gaming right now.